This is a San Pedro top cut. Once the cut is fully healed, it can be replanted, make new roots and resume growth. The tricky part here is to get it to grow the same width as the rest of the plant. You want to avoid what you can see here, which is the new growth being considerably thinner than the rest of the cutting. This is called etiolation. And in this video I will show you how it can be reduced or avoided on a top cut. As always, the information in this video is not just valid for the San Pedro, which is Trichoceros pacanoi, but also for the Peruvian torch, which is Trichoceros peruvianus, Bolivian torch, Trichoceros bridgetsi, and pretty much any cactus in the Trichoceros genus. Etiolation on an already rooted cactus is typically caused by lack of light. But in the case of a non-rooted cutting, it is mainly due to lack of nutrients coming to the tip. The plant is not rooted yet, so in order to keep on growing, it has to use its reserves of energy and nutrients, and that may not be enough to grow full width. Likewise, if a top cut has already started to root, but has not grown enough roots yet, the tip may grow thinner. On a very long or fat top cut, the reserves of energy and nutrients will be much larger than on a short, thin top cut, which is why a very large top cut may grow closer to full width even though it has not rooted yet. On the contrary, this pup here, which is a baby branch, has very little plant mass from which to draw energy and nutrients, which is why pups are the type of cutting that most commonly suffer from etiolation. Even after they have rooted properly, pups will not manage to grow full width and you will have a plant that looks like the ones you can now see on the screen. For a top cut to grow the same width as the rest of the cutting, or close to it, you want it to root fairly fast. One way to make sure it will grow new roots fast is by applying rooting hormones to its base. Rooting hormones can make the cutting root quicker. But don't forget that these products are often very toxic chemicals that can be stored in the plant tissues and you want to make sure you will never resell or give the plant to someone that has the intention of consuming it. Personally, I don't use rooting hormones as I don't like to use chemicals. And when I replant a top cut, I never know whether it will root fast or not, or whether it will grow full width or not. Even if it grows thinner than the rest of the plant, it is not the end of the world, I can live with it. If the top cut has etiolated, then two things can happen once a full root system is built and the cactus receives its normal amount of nutrients again. The first thing that can happen is that after growing thin, the cactus can start growing fat again. So that will leave a thinner section in between the upper and lower full width parts. That thinner section will not look very good and will be a weaker point that could possibly break easier. Although I will have to say that thinner etiolated parts are not always fragile. I have seen cases of thinner sections that have a very strong solid core in them. You may want to operate on some of the most extreme cases of etiolation. Basically, you cut the plant in two where it has etiolated and you replant separately the upper part. I will probably show that in a video in the near future. The other post-etiolation outcome is that it keeps on growing the same thinner width, which I think is better. Often that will happen with smaller top cuts and also pups, as they will not manage to keep on growing full width without the large plant mass and root system of the adult San Pedro that they were previously attached to. This San Pedro cutting, for instance, is too small to start growing full width again. It will keep on growing the same width. But the etiolated part has grown fairly wide for the small size of the plant. I don't think you could possibly get any less etiolation than this on a cutting so small. Another thing to take into consideration is that the tip of a top cut will sometimes keep on growing even if it is not rooted. In the case of a middle cut, the plant will take a while to grow new pups. But in the case of a top cut, the tip can keep on growing, except it will usually grow thinner, which is why it is best not to wait to replant a top cut. If you have purchased a lot of cuttings at once, some of them top cuts and some of them middle cuts, you want to prioritize the replanting of the top cuts. The middle cuts can wait. 
If you prefer to wait and store your top cut, then you need to check regularly on the tip to make sure it is not growing thin, as this does not always happen, especially with cooler temperatures. And talking about temperatures, I will add that these commands are only valid for storing top cuts in the warmer month. If you are storing them outside in the winter, providing of course you don't live in a place where it's too cold for cacti to be left outside, then storing during this month should not be an issue as the cacti put themselves in some sort of hibernation mode and stop growing. Lastly, where you should take every step possible to avoid the most extreme case of etiolation, a mild etiolation is often inevitable and shouldn't be a problem. Let's look at a couple of examples. This Bolivian torch, for instance, etiolated only a moderate amount and then went back to full width. But that's no big deal, still looks good. Here, with this recent Pedro's, we have example of very mild etiolation, which is normal on cuttings this size, and you probably won't be able to avoid it. The arrows indicate where the rooting occurred about a year ago. You can see that at that point in time, the plant grew a bit narrower. And then they fairly quickly resume growth. Not quite the same width as before, but fairly close. Looking good. And in case you wonder, this is how much these three plants have grown during the growing season of 2018. 57 centimeters, which is 22 inches. 50 centimeters, which is 20 inches. And 44 centimeters, which is 17 inches. Not bad, but it has been a fairly long growing season since we're now in January 2019 and here in Barcelona, we've had one of the mildest winters I can remember. That's it. These are my tips for achieving an even growth on a San Pedro top cut. If they were helpful to you, please hit like. It does help my channel if you do. I'll see you guys next week.